Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sliced Lime and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to get and play a Minecraft snapshot or pre-release. You might have seen a video like this on my channel before, but the launcher design has changed quite dramatically since then, so here's an updated version. First of all, what is a Minecraft snapshot? Well, a Minecraft snapshot or pre-release is what's commonly referred to as a beta in other products. It's a version that is not quite ready for a full release, but you can try it out beforehand and help test it out and give feedback. Now, before each release of Minecraft, there are a series of these snapshots and pre-releases, and they are not actually that hard to get. What you want to do first is start your Minecraft launcher and log in as usual. Now, once you're in the actual launcher, you can go into the Installations tab up here under the Minecraft Java Edition section. Now, in here, you can see we only have our latest release option. But you have the versions up here where you can select snapshots. Now, there's a warning here, snapshots are less stable, so you might want to run them in a separate game directory, or at least make sure that you have backups of everything you open in them. Anyway, click that checkbox and a new thing appears here, Latest Snapshot. You can play that directly from here, a play button appears when you hover that line. But the next time you start the launcher you can also play it from the play page by clicking this little drop down button down here and choosing latest snapshot here and then just hitting play. That's how easy it is to get into and play a Minecraft snapshot. Now that's the basics, as you can see we immediately ended up inside of the latest snapshot right here. Let me show you one more thing though, now we're back in the launcher, let's go to installations again and let's click this latest snapshot installation. Now we get some options here and one thing you can do here is click the browse button for game directory and that will let you select a different directory for your snapshots installation. That will mean that you won't have access to your normal game worlds but it will also protect you against any flaws in the snapshots messing up your normal Minecraft worlds. Anyway, that's how easy it is to get and play a Minecraft snapshot. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please help me out in return, leave a like. My name is Sly Slime, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Take care, bye bye.